Tonight, protests continue across Hampton Roads and across the country following the death of George Floyd. 13 News Now has team coverage from Virginia Beach to Norfolk to Newport News. Good evening and thanks for staying up with us. I'm David Allen. Let's get you right to Virginia Beach. Protesters are marching at the oceanfront as we speak, chanting and halting traffic. We've been monitoring feeds in the newsroom tonight. We have seen some windows smash as protesters make their way up Atlantic Avenue. Let's turn now to 13 News Now reporter Adriana D'Alba, who was at the oceanfront to give us the latest. Adriana. Tonight's protest started off as peaceful here at the oceanfront, but our newsroom is monitoring Facebook Live, and we have seen reports of at least two businesses having their windows smashed. As the sun set over the Virginia Beach oceanfront, people gathered to protest the death of George Floyd. Together, they chanted. The messages written on signs held up high, begging to be heard. I just want this to be peaceful, not like, I mean, it, nothing has happened yet. Virginia Beach police stood by as crowds of protesters walked along a long stretch of Atlantic Avenue. Sam Hobbs felt a responsibility to join tonight. I, honestly, the worst part about it was the fact that because I've been arrested before, before and all for minor things. When I seen that video, I knew exactly where he. I knew I knew what that man was uh, uh, feeling when he was sitting laying on that ground with a knee to his neck. Hobbs and the people here tonight are calling for change. At the end of the day, what was done it is completely wrong, and there's no justifying what he did and how he acted. So I have no choice but to support my community. It's a call for justice. They hope the message here tonight will be heard. No justice. No peace. No justice. In Virginia Beach, Adriana De Alba, 13 News Now. Let's take a minute to get you up to speed on the latest developments across the nation. It has been another tense and fiery night tonight in Minneapolis, but started as a peaceful day, took a frightening turn. Take a look. A semi broke through a barrier and raced straight for a crowd. Protesters threw bikes at the truck's wheels to slow it down. No word yet on the person behind the wheel of that semi. Elsewhere across the country, a number of states have anticipated and activated the National Guard as anger has boiled over. Protesters filling the streets and fires have been set. Tonight, the Commonwealth is under a state of emergency. Governor Northam made the call today in response to escalating violence across the state. The move gives cities and counties more resources to deal with another night of protests. The state of emergency allows the Virginia National Guard to assist police in keeping the peace. The call comes after Richmond was under fire last night. Several buildings were set on fire and others were looted. The mayor condemned the behavior of protesters and announced this morning that the city is under a curfew from 8 tonight until 6 in the morning. Capitol Police also announcing tonight Capitol Square will be closed until further notice. Turning to Norfolk, this was day three of protests. Earlier this afternoon, protesters held signs, listened to speakers, and called for change. 13 News Now reporter Angelo Vargas continues our team coverage. Another large group gathered in the streets of Norfolk during the third day of protest, blocking major intersections throughout the city, urging their voices to be heard. The crowd in Norfolk grew throughout the day, marching and blocking the streets, showing their messages on their signs with the face of George Floyd. Nice. I made this up this morning. So yeah, just felt inspired after the last uh, march here. Many came out knowing it was going to be peaceful. Like this doesn't hit the news as much. You know, this is peaceful. Nobody's rioting, nobody's breaking things. We're all coming together for a purpose bigger than ours. For me personally, it means like that the whole community is coming together, trying to like make a change out here so I don't have to feel scared when I walk outside my house. As one march ends, no justice, no peace. another begins. No peace. This group blocking intersections and cars. Some protesters' emotions escalated. While others in the group calmed each other down and brought a more reverent focus to the event, getting down on one knee for George Floyd. Officers did stay nearby to help keep things calm throughout the night and guide demonstrators throughout the evening. In Norfolk, Angelo Vargas, 13 News Now.